So by now everybody knows that the most popular video app on the iPhone now is pretty much social cam, though it's kind of flipping between that and Viddy. Um, right now it's the number two on uh, the App Store. Um, I installed it because I'm like, ooh, Instagram for video, though I don't actually think that that's really going to be a thing. Installed it, just gave it a go, and noticed that it started publishing the videos that I was watching to my Facebook feed, which I thought was kind of ridiculous. And searched around to try to figure out ways to disable it, disabled inside of Facebook, all this stuff, and then went back and I was like, okay, watch some videos again, and it was publishing again, and I was a little bit confused by that. And so I, I had this hunch, and I have now since confirmed the hunch. If I open up the app, at the top there, it says social on. Now, if I decide to turn that off, cool. Now that means that any video that I watch will not get broadcast to my Facebook stream. Now. This is the thing that I thought would stay persistent. However, they're doing something ridiculously shady and awful, um, and I think is a terrible user experience. And so I just quit the app, so it's no longer in my, my active apps, and I'm effectively restarting the app. Now, if I go back in, what happens? Social is back on. Now watch the even shadier part. We'll wait for a second, wait for a second, boom. Logo. If I didn't catch that in time, now it's broadcasting every little thing to my Facebook feed all over again. Now, I can tap it and see that setting again. Well, sometime maybe, yeah. But only if I caught it. So clearly that's why they're, they're getting just a crazy, crazy user growth on this stuff. But I just don't think that uh, they're doing it in a very unshady way. So beware.